BB News, Britain's news channel. Forensic royal analysis with Tom Bauer coming up imminently. But first, the Tories are bracing themselves for the publication of an expose into the behind the scenes drama within our ruling party. It will come courtesy of Nevena Bridgen, the fuming wife of expelled Tory MP Andrew Bridgen, who is embarking on a fierce defence of her husband in the wake of his COVID vaccine furore. After Andrew was controversially booted from the party last week, Nevena released a sensational statement. That read in part, finally, I can talk about the censorship, abuse and racism I've experienced firsthand as a political wife in the past six years in Westminster. The professional star opera singer and writer of the Wives of Westminster blog twisted the knife further by promising a damning tell-all book more dramatic than the storyline she performs on stage. She wrote, for six years, I was placed on the silence button, but enough is enough. Buckle up for the confessions of the Westminster wife. So as she prepares to unleash her bombshell book, which we've mocked up here, uh, and with Westminster brace for what she could reveal, Nevena joins me now to disclose all in loyal defence of her husband, Andrew Bridgen. So, Nevena Bridgen, this is your first Good interview. Uh, what no, are you sorry. referring <laughs> to about what's <laughs> gone on the behind the scenes in the Conservative Party? Sorry, can you come again? I didn't hear do we have your can sound, you Nevena? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. I can't hear Nevena. Can we just check oh. that we're getting Nevena's sound? Nevena, sorry, we'll try that again. Uh, what are you planning to disclose about what's been going on behind the scenes in the Conservative Party? Well, Dan, uh, hello, if you can hear me now. I'm I can, planning loud and clear. to finally speak. You know, I have now freedom to speak and reveal everything that was going on for the six years uh, being uh, behind the stage of political uh, life in Westminster, from basically first visit to checkers under Theresa May in my official initiation into political uh, life behind the scenes. Uh, and uh, let's say uh, initiation to so-called uh, conservative club you know, through ups and downs, uh, you know, three and a half prime ministers uh, about um, uh, how they made me feel as a second class citizen, uh, m numerous of uh, and, instances of... Uh, and, and so how, yeah. did that, how did they make you feel like a second class citizen, Nevener? Is this what you were referring to when you referenced racism? Yes, racism and also, you know, uh, anti-immigrant comments, you know, um, trying to censor me, censor coming to my husband and um, saying, quote, uh, put your wife on the leash uh, with a clear message that if I'm not tamed, that, you know, there will be clear consequences, you know, and uh, many other, you know, scandals and uh, experience, very unique perspective I have, you know, I've been in many places and many rooms that um, journalists uh, couldn't be. So, you know, I'm finally free to speak. And I, I don't, listen, I'm not going to hold back. I'm going to tell how it, how it was, how it is, how I see it, how I experienced it. And, you know, they can like it or not, but uh, I'll tell my truth. And also including what, what, what you're experiencing now, you know, and political persecution that is happening with the expulsion of my husband from the party. So he has been expelled uh, because he made a comment uh, which compared uh, vaccine injuries uh, to... Well, the, the argument was that he compared it to the Holocaust. He didn't actually compare it to the Holocaust, did he? He said no, it was yes. the was worst quoting. scandal was... since the Holocaust. However, this has offended a lot of people. Uh, do you feel like there is an attempt to shut down people within the Conservative Party who are speaking up on the issue of vaccine harms? Uh, listen, uh, first, uh, let me tell you about this. Uh, it was a quote of an Israeli uh, professor, and it wasn't, as you said, it wasn't comparison. It was um, basically a reference point. And we can argue that it was insensitive, maybe, and he did apologize if he offended someone. But if my husband was an anti-Semite, he would never been uh, afterwards invited to a Westminster synagogue to speak to uh, the, you know, um, Jewish community. Uh, so that's that's first. But he, that was uh, basically um, uh, instrument to 
uh, you know, uh, go against him and to um, assess mm. in his mm. character. Uh, so, so if you as, speak... as for the vaccines, that's not my topic. He, uh, if you want to speak about that, you know, I'm not an expert and I'm not going to get into details of that. If you want to speak about that, you can call him. He knows a lot, you know, or he can put you in, do in the touch with doctors that uh, are talking or people who've been harmed. But mm. there is a fact there, you know, and that I'm experiencing is that when you voice uh, this issue that you're going to be definitely cancelled, you know, and this is in the end, it's not just Andrew Bridgen or our family that's been affected. It's uh, uh, basically a fight for fr uh, a freedom of speech. You know, as an elected politician, you, uh, your job and responsibility is to uh, stand and uh, raise the issues that your uh, people are coming uh, forward with. You know, he's doing his job. You can like it or not, you can debate it, but you cannot go into political persecution and use the instruments, mm. autocrats' instruments, basically. Um, no, we to have to be able to have the debate. Life. Absolutely. And we've been having okay. the debate on vaccine harms on this show uh, for long before anyone uh, in the mainstream yes. media or the Conservative Party, to be frank, uh, was talking about it. Uh, who treated you so badly, Nevena? You seem like an absolutely lovely woman. Do you want to name uh, any of the politicians uh, not, who treated you I'm badly? I'm not going to reveal the details uh, in this instance because you know you will need to wait until my book comes out but are you talking but, cabinet uh, ministers will... are you talking prime ministers uh i'm talking very high profile uh, politicians uh, you know um in the in conservative party many of them uh women so, so, and men so would you say that conservative politicians should be nervous about your book, you're going to be prepared to reveal well, stories that may be uncomfortable? They can be whatever they want, frankly, you know, to tell you. Uh, you know, I'm not bothered about that. I'm more uh, into, like, revealing, you know, the those big uh, moral uh, giants, you know, that people are voting for, that they have right to know who are they and how they treat uh, people around and what how they pretend uh, in a public eye when, they, when they are, where there is a campaign going on and when we need to vote, you know? Uh, you know, this is all happening, this persecution and you know, this silencing down and, you know, this is all happening under Rishi Sunak's regime, 2023 Britain, you know, this is not uh, some country, this is vast, you know, this is democratic, this is, this is democratic system apparently, but what we're experiencing as a family is not a democracy because, you know, my husband didn't have right to uh, speak, to defend himself, and basically uh, they stopped his appeal by uh, leaking the information to the press, and that's... Uh, with the aim to completely, uh, you know, dehumanize him, to kill his dignity, I mean, kill, uh, uh, you know, to like ruin mm. his dignity, ruin his credibility, and ruin our family. Because, you know, when you do, uh, when you take like topics like anti Semitism, which is very easy to use against someone, you know, when you take the, um, the weaponized mental health issues and you label, it, you label him with, you know, delusional, whatever, on national television, without the chance to reply, then, you know, this is the father of my child who will, you know, be uh, grown enough to uh, read this. And he has also uh, two other children who are um, grown mm. enough now to uh, understand this and no, going through all look, of this. This is you... really bad what they're doing. And this is autocratic regime in, uh, as, as it is, you know, I mean, th these instruments. Uh, are very known, um, in, uh, well known in autocratic regimes. I I grew up in one, so I, mm. I can tell you that this yep. this is. Well, how, you know, you know, you know Nevada, with me, uh, freedom of speech is everything. It's, it's central to it's everything, everything that I do. It's everything. And even though personally, this, then, yeah. if they can, sorry, because my my I think the no, time no, no. is uh, you delayed. Make the point. If they can do this to their own after 20 years of being loyal, working, giving life to them. My child my child didn't have a father because he was campaigning for other people. So, you know, if you know helping other people, you know. So, um always always be he was always there for everyone. Okay. Uh, if they well, can look, do that to their own, what they can do to the citizens of this country and people need to know, they need to wake up and fight for their right to speak because okay. it's and, and never, is canceled. Just finally All just, the people are just canceled finally quickly then. because a lot of people want to know where you're going politically. Is it true that your husband and you are going to join Lawrence Fox's Reclaim Party? Can you confirm that? 
I cannot confirm anything. Uh, you know, he is now at the moment independent uh, MP, and it's up to him what what is okay. going to be next. Okay, choice. well, look, do keep but, us uh, posted we'll because I'm very excited to learn about your book. <laughs> I don't think people at Parliament have been so scared about a book since Sasha Swai. You know, and remember she had her diaries. That's how we've mocked it up. You can take that for free. Never a Bridgen. <laughs> Blogger, thank you so much. wife to Andrew Bridge and MP, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, but coming up in Uncancelled as Meghan Markle launches a fresh PR campaign ahead of the coronation and the row over the Pledge of Allegiance to King Charles intensifies. There's plenty for top royal blogger for Tom Bauer to get stuck in.